second step and then you can go. Okay, just keep working on that. That was 10 push-ups. <laughs> what the, what the, I, I don't want to see here is that the elbow is away from the body over here. I like to see it close because we want the head and the ball to be in line right over here. So. The ball should be just in front of his knee at this point over here. Okay. Okay? Yep. So I never want to see any space between your elbow and your body. All right? Yeah. Nice and smooth, okay? Yeah. No pull back. So now it's much better too. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's good. Sweet. <laughs> Okay, so that was the first one. Yeah, this is the first one. See, are you pulling it down right there? Yeah. And this one over here, so you're waiting now on the second step. Mm -hmm. See, it's much better. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a good change right there. This is much better timing than this, yeah. Okay, see. Mm -hmm. Thank you. to move right. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. You know it's a house shot, right? <laughs> okay, so what you see here is that in the second step the ball is still in front of him. Right here it's already beside its... 
this one here. He's way early with his swing. I guess this one here is a little bit further back in front. So he's going to have much more. He's got more time to do He's got more time to, to, to really stay under the ball and really put more and speed body, on the his ball. His body's more forward. It's more forward also, all right? So that's very important. So a good start equals a good finish. That one there feels good. Yeah, it's pretty smooth, yeah. So what's, what's something you see out of most two-handers that is, is something that they, they need to take as a basic principle? Well, it's basically their swing, their, 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 their right arm, especially an elbow, is got to be close, always close to their body. Uh, a lot of them, if you see that their elbow goes out, and then they're having problems with the release. But if the elbow stays close to your body and you got to bend your elbow on the way back, okay, to give you a little higher max swing. If you don't bend your elbow, then you're not going to have as much speed in your bowling. So if we notice here, Jacob, his elbow is pretty good and then it's close to his body all the time. So those are the key for a two-handed bowler, okay? Thank you, Eric. That was your spare shoe. Oh, we have a talk about it. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's a good question then. What's your what's your take on most two-handed bowlers on the PBA tour today throw it two-handed on spares? That's fine if you can throw it straight or back up. That's why uh uh, Simonson there is very good. He never misses a spare. It's a good good practice to practice throwing the ball back up if you're a two-hander too. If you want to make your spares two-handed, then do that. So what's uh, your takeaway from the weekend? It was a great tournament. Um, I feel like this striking capability was good. However, we got to work on some spare shooting, and it's actually really good that we're getting a lesson right after the tournament. That way we can take this back home and then can just practice the floor and make sure it's down for the future tournaments coming up. Spare shooting, just got to get more through it. And coach, what do you... Well, I think... You, we uh, watched Jacob quite a bit. What's your takeaway? Oh, you can, you can hang that one up. <laughs> <laughs> So we did a five shot ranking with uh, Specto for Jimu here. Um, so I, I like the, the, the Specto offers a five shot, 10 shot and 15 shot. Five shots gives you a very quick uh, overview of uh, what it is, right? So um, what's really neat here is we can go here to the ranking sessions and I can just view it. So we see here with the five shots, we see that the line is relatively tight all the way across obviously a couple of bad shots but then um, on his app we're gonna see uh, also this ranking session that's a PDF file so you can check this out at home as well um, so we see all the five shots here um, so we see on this inside track line that he's got a variance of 2.1 which is very good right so we see that in the five shots at the laydown he had a, a very small variance of you know practically a board uh, about a two board variance at the arrows and five shots, two board variance at the break point, which is tremendous. You know, and he did miss it one shot there, so five, okay. Um, what I really like looking at here is, is this, this, um, uh, this box right here, which is a really good box. So 
um, based on specto data, kind of gives you an idea of where you are. So we see here L6, based on the five shots that he did, um, he's got a good variance at the laydown, good variance at the breakpoint, good variance of launch angle, ball speed, and his RPMs were about 10% off each other, which is really good. So in essence, this was a very good five shot rank. Okay, um, so we see here that he had a three uh, three arrow variance at the arrows, which is equivalent to a 195 to 10 bowler. So still very, very good. Um, but you know, to all your pro shops out there that think that layout's like super important for very low average players, I want you to look at one thing on this board. And if you look at like a 150 to 160 or 180 average bowler, Specto is saying that these players have on, on, on um, average about a 10 board variance at the breakpoint and about a six to five board variance at the arrows, right? So if your players are at that level, it's more coaching than layout at this point because if the guy's missing by a full arrow, you know, that's the thing, right? So just, these are really good metrics and, you know, it's no surprise, you know, Jacob makes two youth national teams uh, and that we see these. So like, it's just really cool, um, just kind of going back and forth on these uh, data points. So again, if you have access to Specto, really cool, go to a bowling center near you, check it out. And if you're in the Montreal area, come see us. <laughs> okay. Okay, boop up. Up a little bit. Thank Perfect. You. Thank you. <laughs> Five versus.